Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Len Marie. If you don't know me, now you do. Today, I am going to film a New Year's Eve look for you guys. This is the look right here. Very sort of natural, not too much coverage, light, but yet still glam makeup for you guys. Uh, I got a bunch of new makeup for over the holidays and my birthday is also in December so I'm going to use some of that stuff and I also got this bad boy right here uh, from the Kylie Cosmetics collection so I'm going to use it. I did not use a lip color in this video from the collection. I used a different one but you just have to watch and find out what lip this is. It is a Kylie lip. Can you guess before seeing? Also, I have not sat down to film a makeup video in so, so long. It feels like way too long and I'm currently working on doing my four to like five part series thing on my knee because I had a knee injury and I had surgery and I'm doing a whole thing on that. So if you guys want to watch that, I will link the first video to that below. Also guys, for the holidays, I just thought this was so cute. I want to show you my nails. Someone actually like did this detailed work and made a tree candy cane, the snowflake and Santa Claus's hat on my nails. So if you are interested to see how I got this New Year's Eve look, continue watching. Okay, so I'm first going to start by putting my hair back and I have this new headband that's really fuzzy and comfortable and I love it. I'm going to look so cute for this video. Oh my goodness. So I'm first going to start off by taking my Wet n Wild foundations and I'm going to be mixing the shades Buff Bisque and Soft Beige. It comes in like a, it's really weird, it's like a, like a paddle thing. Um, so what I like to do is just kind of like brush it all over my face so that's what we're gonna do i'm just gonna take it and like go like this and i'm not using primer actually i did want to use primer hold on one second i need to like get myself together so the primer that i brought out here with me which is like a really small one because it fit because i was traveling and i've seen people mix their primers with their foundations before so i guess we're just gonna have to kind of do that this is an ulta beauty poreless face primer I usually just like to take primer like right here anyway so we didn't really put too much down there so that's actually kind of good and we're just gonna like buff it in it's okay if it hits a little bit of the foundation so now I'm going in with buff bisque which is a little bit darker but not by much let's go in It's definitely not like a full coverage situation but I kind of like that because we are going to go over with some powders and stuff and I don't really like a too cakey situation so I'm really happy with this foundation. So I wasn't filming and now I look crazy but I was just saying that I'm going to take these iconic London illuminator drops and put them all over my face for kind of overall dewy glowy luminous look which i feel is very appropriate for new year's eve and typically i would just use this as a highlighter but i do want to try to go for like an inner glow type feel another way to do it is to blend it in with the foundation before you put the foundation on and i didn't do that i'm just really doing a great job today my foundation is still a little bit wet because i just blended it in let's see if we just try to blend it in. Yeah, so I do see this kind of like glowiness to the face. I recently just got the Kat Von D Shade and Light Powder Contour Kit right here and we are going to use it to contour this face. This is a Sephora brush. It's kind of like uh, like a triangle out fluffy over here type deal and we're gonna go in with the first two shades I'm kind of just gonna like dunk it in both more in the middle kind of tap it off and then we're just going to chisel out the cheek starting from like the tip of the ear here to the eyebrow so it doesn't get muddy like just fill in that little area right there And then like take the brush from like the farthest point and just lightly brush over it kind of making that face like that this is really an arm workout just a warning 
sculpt that face, you know. All right, cute. We'll go back and add some more. This is a Sephora mm, Pro Foundation Brush, but as you can see, it's kind of like flat here. This is a very nice brush. Love using this for um, concealer. We're gonna go into the yellowy color in the middle and the brightest shade, and we're just gonna mix the two the lightest and the medium shade there and tap off the extra and then we're just going to like pat like patting motions slash a little bit of like swiping motions but mostly patting also kind of blend in with that contour right there also we're going to get the sides of the nose and the top of the nose we're also going to contour the nose so just bear with me like low like keep it kind of low in this area just for my forehead shape I just find that that's more flattering on my forehead shape so if you have a forehead similar to mine you can kind of do that I guess that trick uh, we're gonna take the contour brush again and I forgot I do want to just like put a little bit of warmth up here okay we're also just gonna take a little bit and bring it under the chin over here now I'm going to take this is the blending shadow brush from Sephora to go into the same shades that we used to contour from the Kat Von D shade and light palette and my nose is pretty skinny towards the top I find that it's just like a little wider down here so I'm not gonna contour like all the way from the top down I'm actually just gonna like start like halfway down the nose and contour on top if you contour on the side it's actually going to give the reverse effect and make your nose wider then like take everything off the brush or as much as possible like i just like brush it on my hand a little and then blend everything and then you could like bring it up and blend it out take the same two sh uh, contour shades and just put it right against my lip at the bottom there and create like a shadow just to like define this a little bit more, we're going to take the lightest shade and just, just pull it right there. I don't have any translucent powder, but uh, if I did, it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm out of it. I need more. Sad face. But we are going to do eyes now, and what I like to do is just dip it into that powder, put it under the eyes just to catch any fallout. If there is any fallout, just in case. I'm going to use the Chill Baby palette. It looks like this. I'm sure you've seen it in so many places. The packaging's beautiful. Burr. Very creative. Very cute. We're going to take a Morphe M504 brush and we're going to dunk into Cuddle Season, which is the lightest here. There is fallout on this palette. However, that doesn't really bother me too too much although it does today because i don't have translucent powder to catch it but we're kind of just going to fluff this light pink shade everywhere and i am wearing a black i feel like black is very new year's eve but black with sparkliness and glitter and like silvers and stuff like that but i do kind of want a purple dimension i don't know why i'm feeling purple right now do we're gonna take a morphe m433 brush we're going to go into just chill which is that purple shade right there knock off oh you saw that i saw it go into the crease but high on the crease i don't want to go i don't want to go right into the crease yet like i want to just i want to stay kind of high still key blending up here and it helps to like bring your eyebrow up um and sometimes i like to like tap down the colors swirl it around swirling windshield wiper motion wow i thought that there was a color in here called magic mike but it is make magic i love when my brain plays tricks on me make magic and we're going to take that on the same brush and I like mixing and blending a lot of different things together. This is more of like a, it has purple undertones in there, so it's going to work. But we are just going to fluff it right over that purple color. Bring back a little bit of gray tones, maybe. See what color we get from doing this. So the mattes in here perform very well. And what I like about it 
is I feel like it's very user slash beginner friendly because you take a lot and it's still a light look. So it's very buildable. That's the word that I want to use. It's buildable. So if you know what you're doing and you don't want to spend time blending and keep and continue to build the color, then this is not something for you. But like if you don't mind the time spent going back and taking more, it could be nice. And for me, I know I always like go in with way too much in the beginning. And with this palette, that's not an issue. So it's not like you're going to get a lot of pigment from the first round. You got to keep building. And it layers nicely on top of other colors. Take this precision shadow brush and I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty concealer and we're going to cut the crease. Okay. I'm gonna warm up the product because this need this this specific product needs that. This is bamboo, the matchstick in bamboo, and it always needs to just warm up a little bit on the finger. Pat down close to the lash line, and then I go in with the brush for more precision when it comes up to the crease. Pick up some of the product. Just do that. So I'm not gonna cut it all the way out like i'm just gonna bring it three fourths of the way in kind of like that okay oh did you guys see the cardi b um james corden carpool karaoke that was so cute i love that this jingle baby color this like pink shimmery like this is going on the inner corner yes it is um, I finally got the infamous MAC Fix Plus. Okay. So we're going to spritz those shimmer shades and bring them to their maximum potential. I don't know if you spritz the brush, then take it, or take it, then spritz the brush. I think I'm going to take it, then spritz the brush a little bit. Spritz it like that. And, ooh, smells good. And then we're going to put it on the inner corner right here. Oh, wow. Just bring it like to there, um, like a third of the way. Am I washed out from the, from like, I don't know. Oh, if the camera could stay right there, that would be nice. Wow, surprisingly, very little fallout, like a little bit. I just like getting like the rust kind of off on my hand. In between when I'm doing makeup, that is how I do it. Because when you go into a darker color, the lighter color is not going to ruin the darker color. Don't go from dark to light. You can go from light to dark. So now we're gonna take Mrs. Claus, which is like this duochrome like purple but blue color, or this like plum shade right here. I think I might do both, honestly. I think they would lead into each other like very well. So I think I'm gonna take Mrs. Claus first, the duochrome sh color, and we're gonna work this right in the middle of the eye, mixing with Jingle Baby. See if I take it with my finger. Sometimes your finger can bring more opacity yeah there we go just doing like a mixture of things the brush with the wetting the brush with your finger bringing warmth making it tacky with the concealer it's just really playing with the product and seeing what gets the best sort of payoff i'm gonna go into the plum shade plum pudding right here spritz the brush again and then layer that towards the outer third. So now we're just gonna go in, back with Mrs. Claus, bring that color back. This is kind of where you just play and like, especially with this palette, it is pigmented, but it's not as pigmented as some other palettes. For example, the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I also just got for Christmas, so stay tuned video with this baby i've also done three different looks these past couple days with this palette this palette is gorgeous <laughs> and if you want to see those looks check out my instagram right here um i'm going to be posting a bunch of looks including this look and if you ever need makeup inspo inspiration stuff like that check out my instagram you should totally follow it and this is this is the thing with this palette like i was saying it just requires a little bit more work. The color is there. You can get the color to show if you know how to work with it. Then I'm going to take um, a Morphe M506. Hello Winter, which is the darkest shade in this palette, which is a purple, like, grape soda type color. And I'm going to lightly just bring that, like, right here. Oh, reservations are at 8 o'clock. Okay, let me start getting ready at 4 p.m. <laughs> me, all the time. 
super important step, we're going to take this brush that we used before, the M433, and we're literally going to just blend everything. Blend. Blend your way into 2019, like, boom. All right, we're going to take the M506, and we're going to go into Make Magic, and we're going to buff out the lower lash. We're going to go into Just Chill, which is the purple color, and we're going to buff that over the other color on the lower lash oh my god there's actually a lot of kickback on this palette but surprisingly not a lot of fallout on my face it's really weird i don't know what's going on cute mm. gonna do eyebrows real quick real quick with the anastasia brow wiz in medium brown and i'm pretty satisfied with the way my eyebrows look so doing my eyebrows is pretty easy for me luckily because i feel like that is something i would be very bad at but i just kind of follow the shape that i already have you want the arc here like the arch and then at the top you want that straight line i got the kylie um highlighter in snow angel it is gorgeous i can't say enough about this highlighter it is insane oh my god snow angel in the sun on the beach is absolutely gorgeous and look at the sunset going to pick up a little bit and we're gonna put it right here in the inner corner mm. and then we're also gonna take a little bit and just hit the brow bone bring it down the center of the nose and put the highlight on oh yeah oh yes it is very glowy Glowy, glowy. Cupid's bow. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I don't even know if I do it right. I kind of like pulse a couple times. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to rip my freaking eyelash hairs out. Maybe like count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. I brought a little Clinique mascara. And this is a good mascara. It really, this one doesn't chunk the eyelashes together at all. It really, just like, makes them really fluttery. Cute. Take my Milani um, black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to do the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my Tarte. Um, eyeliner liquid eyeliner and I'm going to line the top very close to my lash line I came down a little bit with it just to keep that outer corner kind of dark I got the the lipstick in the shade cold as ice it reminds me of one of the Fenty Beauty highlighting matchsticks and then I have I got the gloss in milk and cookies this is actually a very pretty color i just don't think i'm gonna go particularly well with what i'm wearing and then i got the eight piece mini with all of the little mini shades i've worn pretty much all of them now my favorite honestly is naughty's the new nice that metal is amazing i'll insert a picture i was wearing it the other day it is just like a gorgeous metallic red um nothing like i've ever seen before it is such a pretty color she made a full lip kit of this shade i would highly recommend that and then she has like another red in here cute like barbie doll pink ish shade this is another metal color i wore this the other night this was really pretty nude shade and then this dark color here hot cocoa very streaky i did not like the way this turned out um with one swipe and then and then i and then i kept adding and it just got chunky in addition to those things i also got this bad boy right here boy bye i've wanted this shade for so long and that is what we're going to wear today so i'm going to pop that on i've wanted to i haven't worn this color yet i'm actually so excited to wear it like mauvey pink purple it's so pretty. oh it's a velvet oh yes i love her velvets this is such a pretty color oh my 
my god. This lip shade is literally everything and more. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh, I forgot to bronze. I'm so happy I forgot to bronze. We're gonna take the Hula um, and this guy that I was using. We're just gonna bronze up the cheeks a little bit. I'm forgetting something else. Oh, blush. <laughs> Which is a Sephora small contour brush. No, we're just gonna smile, buff it in. And that, my friends, is the completed look. And yes, my hair is naturally curly like this. I get out of the shower and it curls. I used to not like it, and now it kind of has grown on me. And we're going to take MAC Fix Plus, and we're just going to lock everything i've always wanted to do this i've wanted this for so long i see everyone do this mm, you know what i need that little fan blower thing that like jacqueline hill has she like pulls it out she's like mm. Ooh, this works very well too the chill baby container don't throw it away because it is a very good drag your I hope you enjoyed watching today. I hope to see you in my very next video, which I'm totally gonna be using this. So if you guys wanna see what look I come up with with this palette, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification button, leave a comment, like this video. Yeah, um, and then I can keep producing content for you guys. You guys can hopefully enjoy and uh, learn some tips and tricks and get some inspiration and make your own looks. Wow, I'm sorry. I love this color so much Happy holidays and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the new year And I hope everyone had a lovely 2018 and has a very very wonderful 2019 Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video